Uh, George, firstly, welcome to Eating 12 Finders. Have you enjoyed the start to the pre-season here? Yeah, really enjoyed it. Uh, I was in last week with a, with a handful of lads that finished the same time that uh, I did. And then the rest of the group have joined up uh, this week and it just feels you know, more of a complete squad. As you mentioned, um, obviously all the other new players have come in this week. Feels more complete, feels like just more of the kind of everyone's here and you can really get cracking now, I guess. Yeah, um, and it's a fairly short pre-season. Um, I think it's like six, six weeks, maybe a bit more. And with the pre-season games, you know, I think everyone's really looking forward to finally seeing how we're going to gel. Um, and that'll, that'll come, obviously, as the weeks go on. Personally, for yourself, in the off-season, you've obviously done a lot of work on your throwing with uh, Simon. How has that, uh, how's that gone? How's that developing? Yeah, really, really enjoyed it. Uh, he's a great coach, been really good for me. Um, he put a lot of time into me, which I'm really appreciative of, um, and I feel like so far I've got quite a lot out of it. And in terms of the hookers, how much are you looking forward to the challenge of competing with the likes of Alan Walker, Matt Cornish, etc., for the uh, for the starting jersey? Yeah, um, obviously it's n it's new competition, um, but you know I think we're all working towards the same goal so it would you know, be interesting to see how um, it all pans out. I'm sure the likes of Lunny you've probably seen very kind of set piece orientated I'm sure he wouldn't mind me saying that for you you kind of potentially offer something a bit different quite, quite explosive quite a big ball carrier etc so I guess you'll be looking forward to getting out on the pitch and showing what you can do. Yeah definitely especially on this surface it's quite a quick surface and uh, you know, I'm just looking forward to getting the ball in hand and, and you know, seeing what happens. In terms of the, the start, we obviously had the kind of yo-yo fitness testing, etc. Um, the body fats and things, everything seems to have gone pretty well. You seem to, like you're kind of embracing the challenge here at the, uh, the start of pre-season. Yeah, the yo-yo went well. Um, happy to get out of the way and the skin folds were you know, pretty decent to be fair, so I'm quite happy about that. Uh, you mentioned the, the pre-season matches, kind of great challenges, the likes of Dragons, Blackheath, Harlequins. A long way to go until those, obviously in August, but you must be looking forward to, to getting out there on the pitch. Yeah, really looking forward to it. Um, Blackheath's an old club of mine, so I'll be looking forward to going back there. Uh, Quinn's will be a massive challenge because they're going to be looking to, to have a real, you know, big start to the season and going down to Dragons will also be, you know, quite a tough test. Um, so obviously a long year ahead um, until the kind of end of April when the season concludes. What would you like to achieve between now and then? Personally, um, just develop as a, as a player and, and hopefully do as much as I can for the teams and slot in quite nicely. But I think we've all got a bigger end goal. Um, it's been spoken about and you know, I think we all know it's possible, we just need to make it happen. Uh, in terms of obviously the amount of new players that have come in, you're one of those. Quite a few of you from Bedford, there's a kind of tribe idea going on where we can split everyone up and get into smaller groups. Do you like, do you like that idea? You're going to obviously embrace the fact that you're you know, getting to know, however, I think it's 47 our, our squad this year, so it's a pretty large one. Yeah, I mean, you've, you've got to. Um, obviously, you do gravitate towards the people you know when you, when you start a new club, but I think obviously everyone seems to gel quite well. We're only really on day two, so you know, I think from a gelling together point of view, it won't be an issue and I think it's good to get to know everybody.